well, I think we'd been working together prior to this this year's activity, hadn't we? We'd yeah. uh, we'd done a um, an arts award project during lockdown, which had been really successful. Um, and I know from LYC's point of view, we'd really wanted to work with Stanleys for a, a long time, um, and wanted to have a, a, a develop opportunities in Morecambe, and you guys were the, the natural partner for it. So that was our. It's a bit of a, a bit of a test for us, wasn't it? Our, yeah. our, our first experience of working together, and I think we sort of followed our, followed each other, haven't we? And sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. in our de own development, and yeah. 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 yeah, I think it sort of came naturally, didn't it? This, I, I think it did. Uh, we we spent a lot of time sort of talking about our values, didn't we? Yeah. Talking about what we're about, what we aspire to do, what Stanley's exists to do, yeah. what LYC is about, and I think we found a commonality. We found, um, yeah, certainly shared values. Um, um, and a commitment to want to do exciting, ambitious work, and uh, and so yeah, I think that was then the, the that sort of kick started our conversations, and then that gives the excitement to, yeah. uh, and the energy to go off and uh, and plan what has been some quite uh, quite ambitious ideas. I think after lockdown, we felt that there was definitely a need, didn't we, to inspire young people? They had no aspirations. I think they'd forgotten some of the work that we actually did prior to lockdown. And I don't think they understood how we were going to take that forward post lockdown and the need to engage with all the young people that were coming across who have been socially isolated. Getting them outside again, yeah. getting them over the threshold of the, uh, their front door and then starting to socialise and meet yeah. uh, once again. Because I remember our first couple of sessions with the arts project and yeah, it was really really challenging because we didn't we'd forgotten how to we behave around to yeah yeah, it's like, yeah how do we communicate yeah. what do we do how do we do this so yes from there i think we were destined to continue to work destined together weren't to we work. that was it what i love about working with you is the honesty it's the honesty and transparency we've got capabilities to just pick up the phone and say this isn't working yeah. that was a brilliant success how can we make it better I need to unpick something with you or pick your brains about something and you're there, you're like, yeah, 100%, completely agree. And for me, honesty and transparency is just one of the most completely. important things, isn't it? Yeah. I think we have the definitely shared values. We've seen that from the start with us. Um, we come from different places, but together, I think we're a really, really strong team now. 100%. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, I think our, our, our staff and teams, they recognise the expertise that both parties have. The, the, the ability to learn from one another, the shared skills that we all bring to the team, to bring to the, to the, to the projects. So yeah, there's opportunity for learning and development within uh, our ways of working. It's and we had a strong commitment, didn't we, to sort of make this happen and to make it be successful. And having that aim from the start, understanding what direction you're going to be able to take things in has just worked really well. So you know my weaknesses, I know your strength, and likewise the other way around. So, yeah, and draw upon those because there are different things that we both, skills that we have that are there to be shared and obviously strengthen the partnership. 100%, 100%, and, and, that, and that takes a lot, I think, in terms of, um, uh, in terms of gifting that yeah. to, to, to other people and being open and understanding that we can't do everything on our own. No. We work far better as a partnership, there's better opportunity, uh, the shared service, shared resource, shared learning, and we can do more and hopefully do more better. And, yeah. and that was certainly the key for why I think our partnership has been successful to date. So for us at Stanley's, I think developing the triathlon came from the need that we saw young people through lockdown were totally uninspired. They weren't active. They were very anxious and they needed something to focus on. And I know it's something that we briefly had a conversation about a while back and said, wouldn't it be a great idea? And I think it seemed at this time was the right time to launch this, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, yeah, as you say, we'd been we'd been sort of seeding the idea for a while, hadn't we? I mean, Morecambe Bay Triathlon, what a fantastic opportunity. Yeah. You know, you've got the, the seaside, you've got the hills around the bay. Uh, it sort of lends itself to a, a triathlon uh, endeavour. So, um, so yeah, so we were really excited about doing it. Uh, and it's something I hope becomes a, an annual event that we, that we facilitate and, and potentially with other partners as well, becomes it grows and becomes an even bigger thing. Uh, but yeah, completely agree it was about getting young people outside getting them active again getting them working in partnership and for us what we do at LYC it's about it's about challenge it's about challenging yourself to undertake something that you didn't think was possible and certainly for some of our guys they've not been on a bike before or not since they were wee little ones 
So we were getting them back onto, um, onto those cycles, training them how to, to ride as a group and to ride safely. Uh, and then similarly, you know, what a phenomenal outcome with uh, young Manot. Learning yeah. how to swim during the project, that was just, was just... Yeah, I remember him turning up on the first slight swim session at the side of the pool, totally, totally anxious, couldn't even get in, absolutely hated the water. And to see the growth in him and yeah. you know, the fact that he's out there in Salt Air Pool all the time, all the time. is absolutely fantastic. So I think the benefits for us being part of this partnership have been um, the learning process that we've had with yourselves because I think that's been amazing and you've opened our eyes and our doors to other activities and aspirations for young people and I think that's amazing. That, that, no, brilliant, thank you mate, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and for us, equally, working with your team, with your staff team, um, it's been really empowering for us. It's uh, given us a lot of a lot of education, a lot of uh, advice and guidance as well, because you guys have got a long history of working uh, in the youth and community sector. And of course, uh, we have to a degree, but it's always beneficial to see how other practitioners work and how we can adopt certain approaches and certain practices. So it's been it's been really powerful for us as well. I think that came out really early on actually in the fact that we work in very, very similar ways but on totally different projects normally, so bringing that together is just yeah, well, really strengthened everything. Certainly, what we b b both do really well I think is put the young person right at the centre of it and we work around them in order to empower them, yeah. to inspire them and to challenge them to, to make meaningful change in their lives and I think uh, certainly that's what I saw with your team, that's what our team were bringing and I think um, that was only that was only further developed and enhanced by working in partnership really yeah we walk with young people yeah. can't walk in their shoes we walk alongside them on their journey i think it's important to have a very clear understanding of the partners that you're intending to work with um, really get to know them really follow them really understand what their aims are and not just their aims, like their general aims, because unless you can fit in that area first, you're gonna struggle going forward. If you can find your key objectives, even if it's one or two, and develop and work with those, I think that's the way you take it forward. But as it's all about transparency, commitment, not over committing, um, holding your hands up, you know, because it's really difficult if you take on another partner, and I've done it before, um, where initially there's that, there's that level of commitment and then suddenly it drops off and you realise that you're sort of propping everything up and I've never felt that at all working with yourself so I think cause we, we were really clear weren't we about what we wanted out of this and how we're going to take it forward. Absolutely yeah I think the, uh, the honesty transparency having that space to be able to talk candidly about yeah. what is happening what your needs are how you can work together to to achieve the uh, the common goal. I think um, what we also did is we we put down our ideas on paper, didn't we? So yeah. we had a bit of a contract uh, which just identified who was gonna lead on what area of the challenge in terms of funding, in terms of staffing, in terms of resource, which really helped as a touchstone. But I don't actually think we ever needed to refer to it. It was no, just there as a, yeah. as a as a touchstone or as a, as a safety, I suppose. But yeah, I completely agree. Um, knowing the organization well, um, understanding their culture, understanding their values and make sure they align with yours. And I think, yeah, the recognition that it's hard work, uh, yeah. partnership is hard work, it's difficult. And when you're doing ambitious projects, that is equally difficult. Yeah. Um, so ensuring that you have plenty of preparation, plenty of planning, loads of communication. I mean, I think we at one stage we were talking three or four times a day uh, <laughs> leading up to the challenge um, um, and recognising the uh, the, the staff resource, the time resource uh, that needs to, to, to be allocated to make something successful. So I think, yeah, they're, they're the, the keys to success for me. Yeah, and it's having all the background stuff definitely nailed. So your safeguarding, all your risk assessments. We knew who they were coming from, who was actually overseeing them. We knew our roles within that partnership and they were sometimes unequal, but that's fine because then it's sort of across the playing field. It was great, it worked, we worked really well together. We have worked with other partners and seen sometimes a lack of commitment from other partners with projects and that's really difficult when you're shouldering all that yourself but it's a learning experience. You can talk to them about how you could adapt the way they worked, what was holding them back from sort of fully committing and being part of that process and I think that you need to evaluate properly at the end. 
we've already done our evaluation, haven't we? We've already looked at what, how we want to springboard that evaluation into a new project.